welcome to our thought for the day. I'd like to read you a verse today from Psalm 22, please. And it's verse 1. And it says this, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Why art thou so far from me, from helping me, from the words of my roaring? The little head in today is simply this, Christ forsaken, so that we could be forgiven. What a wonderful thought today as we think of our wonderful Christ as he hangs upon the cross. My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? This was the starting cry that was heard from Golgotha. Golgotha. The Jews mocked Jesus, but the angels adored Jesus when they heard this cry. My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Nailed to the tree, we behold our great Redeemer in agonies of all agonies, as he paid the price for our salvation. With our spiritual ears, may God help us to hear. And with our spiritual eyes, may God help us to see. Let us look with holy wonder at the greatness of our God and help us all to imitate our great example. In the worst experience possible, as he hung upon the cross for our sin, and was made sin in order that we may be made righteousness, our Lord's faith shines forth. As with both hands he holds on in faith as he cries those remarkable words, My God, my God. Yes, in his darkest hour, he holds on to his eternal God. And this morning, friends, if you are in your worst possible situation that there could ever be, be, if you feel that you're in your darkest hour of your whole experience, hold on to your eternal God. Let go of everything and everyone else, but never let go of Jesus. He knew that God was and is and forever would be the all-sufficient one. And he cries out the question, why hast thou forsaken me? Why, he cries pain in this one word, friends, is absolutely incredible. Why? I'm sure there have been many times when you've asked the question, why? Why hast thou? You can understand traitors leaving him, like Judas and even Peter would forsake him. But God, my father, my friend, how can you leave me? This is the worst of all, worse than all the rest put together. Why hast thou forsaken me? The innocent one, the obedient one, your own suffering son. Why leavest thou me to perish? Here we see, friends, the extent of pain that Jesus had to experience. But Jesus was forsaken. Why? Because we needed to be forgiven. Why art thou so far from helping me? And from the words of my roaring, the man of sorrows had prayed until his speech almost failed him, and he was roaring in spiritual pain. Will we ever be able to understand, friends, the extremity of the grief to where our Saviour was driven to, as his father turns away from his divine son, not because of anything that he had done, but because of what you and I had done? You see, he asked the question, why? But there came no answer. Yet he still trusted in his heavenly Father. And there are times in life when we ask the question, why? And we have no answer. Just leave it with the Lord and keep on trusting him. For one day we will know the reason. And when we do know the reason, it will be worth it all that we trusted and continue to trust. In Christ. Don't let your faith waver today. Keep your faith in the eternal God and God will bless you. God bless you and I look forward to speaking with you again tomorrow morning.